For centuries, we've eaten many different foods all over the world, and over the past million plus years, we've slowly modernized and become accustomed to what we class as good food, apart from the people that eat most of the food in this list, that is. I would like to apologize before I begin narrating this top 10 list, as for the first time ever, I may just throw up considering how revolting some of these herb edible foods are. The fact that people actually enjoy eating these foods is interesting to say the least. Let's start the ride. The octopus that squirms while you eat it. Known as a dory don, this is literally a live squid or octopus dumped on your plate and served to you its legs still thrashing around in the sauce. This er dish is a delicacy in Japan and Korea. Okay, we lied. It's not alive on the plate in the strictest sense because they removed the thing's brain before they slapped it onto the plate. They're not monsters. But by the time it hits your table, it was alive so recently that it still flaps its tentacles around and tries to escape when you pour soy sauce over it. Dawson City Sour Toe Cocktail The Sour Toe Cocktail is a versatile drink in that the liquid part can be whatever you like, whatever helps you cope with what you're not about to do. Honestly, we're thinking it doesn't matter a whole lot because even if your wondrous elixir is so perfectly potent and gloriously flavored that it knocked Dionysus himself flat on his probably already drunk ass, what you've made is not a sour toe cocktail until you drop a disembodied human toe in it. The Canadian bar that serves the toast doesn't want anyone getting anything more than psychologically ill from the delightful beverage, so the digits are first drained of all bodily fluids and pickled. Yes, this means that you won't die unless you choke on it, but it also changes its appearance from severed human toe to gangrenous severed human toe. To date, eight toes have been accidentally swallowed. There is a $500 fine for accidentally swallowing the toe, as finding donors is hard, says the pub. To date, only one person has swallowed the toe on purpose. Why? Who knows? The fine is now $2,500. Let's move on, please. Tuna eyeballs. Tuna eye can be found staring up at you in most Japanese stores for less than a pound. Apparently, it tastes a bit like squid, and the eyeball comes surrounded by fish fat and severed muscles that are also meant to be quite tasty. To cook, you simply boil it and then season to taste. Certainly eye-catching. Jelly beans are covered in shellac, which is made from bug excretions. Shellac makes things shiny, and shiny jelly beans are nice, so jelly beans are often coated in shellac. Shellac is also made from excretions of the female lac insect. It's not bug poop, exactly, but for the purposes of sensationalism, we're going to say that it is. You eat bug poop. It's inevitable that some insects are going to get into your food. Still, when you see the actual FDA regulations that 10 insects and 35 fruit fly eggs per 8 ounce of raisins is totally cool, it turns your stomach a little. Fruit bat soup. This is really just a colossal middle finger to the concept of food preparation. The bat is rinsed off, boiled, chopped, dipped in coconut milk, and served with some vegetables, if you're really lucky. It's not a bad idea because it offends our delicate sensibilities. It's a bad idea because eating this is a marvelous way to punch holes in your brain. When they're alive, these bats eat plants that are known to cause neurological diseases in humans. So when you take a bat with a belly full of poison seeds and toss it right into your stew, it doesn't take a doctor to figure out what's going to happen next. Smalahov. Sheep's head, or smalahov, is a traditional Christmas dish eaten in Norway. They remove the brain, stick it on the grill or in the oven, and Bob's your uncle. So if you're planning on traveling to Norway next Christmas, just remember the name Smalahov. Otherwise, you might be in for a shocker when your food arrives. The Geoduck. Sounds pretty glamorous, right? Like a duck that geographically roamed free and happy and is now being prepared by a Michelin star chef. Nope, it's just a huge oyster that looks like, use your imagination. Although the geoduck doesn't look overly appetizing, according to residents of Western Washington, where the geoduck is found, it actually tastes very nice and is said to be one of the sweetest sea creatures you can eat. We presume when they said sweet, they are talking about the taste and not looks. Geoduck is usually eaten at an age of 140 years, with the oldest being that of 164 years old. They are also usually eaten alive. Ew. Cubien. Cubien is a traditional dish and a major part of diets in Peru. This is because roasted guinea pig is high in protein and very low in fat. Its taste has reportedly been compared to a number of different meats, including the dark meats of chicken, rabbit, and even rat. 
Mongolian Budog. They don't call it Outer Mongolia for nothing. Nomads and people living outside the cities in Mongolia years and years ago found a more interesting way to cook a whole gug. So here is how you make Mongolian Budog. One, hang it till dead. Two, hang upside down till blood out and then break its legs. Three, insert red hot stones into every cavity possible. Four, blowtorch the beast to your desired doneness. Five, and then dig on in. Yummy. Balut. Balut is known as the threat with feet or the eggs with legs and is a favorite snack of the Philippines. It is a fertilized egg that has been buried in the ground for a few weeks until an embryo has nearly been developed. It is then boiled and eaten with its shell. We think it's probably a very acquired taste. Your turn. Think you can beat this list?